In this video, we're going to talk about the different types of matter. So matter can be broken down into two different categories. The first category is pure substances. A pure substance is basically exactly what it sounds like. It's a pure substance. It's one kind of substance. Matter can also be broken down into mixtures. A mixture is composed of two or more different pure substances. Now pure substance can be broken down into elements or they can be broken down into compounds. So a compound is a pure, a pure substance and an element is also a pure substance. Now a mixture can be broken into two types. You have a homogeneous mixture and there's also a heterogeneous mixture. I'm running out of space there, so we'll make that work. So going over to the left side, elements like oxygen gas, helium, nitrogen gas, iron metal, zinc, elemental sulfur, these are all pure substances. And each of these substances, they're composed of only one kind of element. So that's an example of a pure substance. Now compounds also are part of pure substances. So water is a compound, but it's also a pure substance. Now what makes it a compound is that water is composed of two different elements. So any substance that is composed of two or more different kinds of elements are compounds. Sodium chloride is a compound. It's a pure substance, but it's made of two different elements. Ethanol is a compound. It's made up of the elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, but it's only one kind of pure substance. Carbon dioxide, you know, that's a pure substance. By the way, for those of you who want more example problems on pure substances and mixtures, check out the links in the description section below. I'm going to post some more video content on this topic in addition to homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Now on the right side, we have two different kinds of mixtures. Now, a homogeneous mixture is one where the composition is uniform. So salt and water, that is a homogeneous mixture. Remember, a mixture is basically two or more pure substances that are combined with each other. When you mix salt and water together, it's going to appear as one clear solution. The salt mixes uniformly with the water and that makes it a homogeneous mixture. A heterogeneous mixture, you don't have that uniform composition. So oil and water would be a good example of a heterogeneous mixture. So when you mix oil and water, they actually don't mix. The oil being less dense than water, it's going to float on top. It has a lower density than water. So here is the oil layer and here is the water layer. Because you could see two distinct phases or two distinct separations of this mixture, you can tell it's a heterogeneous mixture. The oil doesn't mix uniformly with the water. You could see the two distinct parts there. Another example of a homogeneous mixture is air. Air, um, brass, a metal alloy, those are homogeneous mixtures. So air is a mixture of gases. 
Air is composed of oxygen gas, nitrogen gas, you might see some argon gas, and you might have water and carbon dioxide, but these are mixed uniformly throughout each other, and that makes air a homogeneous mixture. Sand and water, for instance, is a heterogeneous mixture. If you were to mix sand and water, it would look something like this. So here's the water, and here will be the sand. They don't mix. You could see the two distinct parts. That makes it a heterogeneous mixture. So that's basically it for this video. Hopefully it gave you a good idea into the different types of matter that we have in chemistry and their classification as well. So for those of you who want more example problems on this topic, feel free to check out the links in the description section below.